Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Maylene. How are you? I'm oh, fine. I'm great. I'm great. I'm happy it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Very nice. Perdón, que no encendido. Mi cámara, I'm here. All right. A ver, ¿quién está escribiendo? It's Luis. Okay, Luis, ya vi su mensaje. Okay. All right. Tengo otro que tiene problema. Hi, Carito. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. What about you? I'm great, especially because today is Friday. <laughs> of course. And the body knows. Of course. <laughs> How was the event of your in your daughter's school? Very good. Very 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 good <laughs> <laughs> all right that's good that's good i'm glad all right very happy good. happy yeah that's nice hi gabriel hi elivaldo hello karen carla hello, good evening, teacher. hello luis hi teacher good evening hey, how are you gabriel Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Very nice. Okay, guys. So today is Friday and we are happy about that. So pretty much, let me see. Así que una semana nos va quedando y a la otra semana y luego un lunes and we're done. Okay, so we can we can deal with this. All right. Tenemos nada más prácticamente una semana, un día, quitando obviamente ahora. All right. So that's, and we're going to be finishing, <clears throat> excuse me basic four, all right? A ver, voy a abrir aquí my book and my attendance, no. Wait guys, get, hi. Hello. All right, then me un segundito, voy a abrir mi libro. All right, guys, so yesterday we kind of saw, well, not kind of, but we saw um, the structure of permítame, permítame que I'm not I'm not here yet. Wait. The structure of simple past, affirmative, negative, and question. All right. Now, cuando hablamos de eh, the structure of affirmative sentences, el verbo. ¿Cómo voy a usar ese verbo? In affirmative sentences. ¿Cómo ocupo el, el verbo? Cuando estoy hablando en, pasa, en, en simple past, el verbo mailing, ¿cómo lo voy a ocupar? ¿En forma base, en pasado, en presente, futuro, cómo? En in, past. In yes, en past. All right, very good. Ahora, teníamos the structure. Decíamos que esa estructura es válida para verbos regulares, tanto como verbos irregulares. All right, entonces usted dice... Um, I had uh, a dog, all right, before. Pudo que usted tuvo un perrito el año pasado o hace tiempo, all right? So I had a dog. O usted puede decir, I listened to the radio while I was driving, all right? So you have those two regular and irregular verbs, and it's okay. The structure is the same, okay? So you have subject. Verb in simple past, past co plus, sorry, co complement, all right? And then you have negative sentences. Elivaldo, what is the auxiliary that we use for 
simple past negative. Uh, simple past negative is did not. Yes, Elibaldo, did plus not. All right, para hacerlo yes. negativo, all right? So the auxiliary is did, y le agregamos not, and then we have didn't or did not. So se puede decir, I did not buy anything, or you say, I didn't pay attention. Usted lo puede hacer contractado o no, and it's the same thing. Excellent, Elibaldo, very nice. Okay, hi, Nina. How are you? I'm great. I'm very, very happy because I was telling everyone that today is Friday. So I like that. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, Nina, ya que tiene el micrófono ahí casi que encendido. Um, what is the auxiliary, Nina, when we want to ask questions? In simple past, of course. Did. <clears throat> what is the auxiliary? Mm -hmm. Did? Did, yes, I'm sorry, did, did. yes, did. did, okay. All right, so you say did, and then you have the subject, Nina, and then you have a verb. Now, that verb, Nina, is in simple past or is in the base or present form? Base, base form. Yes, very nice. So, Nina, ahorita es, es Nina Knight, okay? <laughs> Nina, no, kill me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kidding. Right. Nina, listen to, I'm going to tell you two sentences, Nina, okay? Okay, I'm trying. Okay, and then one is correct and the other one is not correct, Nina, okay? Okay. Lo que quiero es ponerle una trampita, Nina. No. <laughs> Para decirle, are you sure? Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay let's see. So, Nina, I say, did she, did she went to New York or did she go to New York? Did she go to New York? Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yes. Because, because uh, the other bear is a uh, pass. Yes. Pass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, yes, because you have an auxiliary, Nina. Did. Media vez usted tiene el auxiliar did or did not. El verbo regresa a su forma base para que nadie le diga, are you sure? Usted diga, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yes, okay. I'm sure. Excellent, very nice. Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, no? Hi, Chair. Good Hi, evening. Oscar, good evening. Oscar, yo le voy a decir dos oraciones a usted. Me dice cuál es la incorrecta. All right. Okay, I try to. Excellent, of course. A ver. Um, I don't know. <laughs> A ver, did she spend a lot of money or did she spend a lot of money? I... La incorrecta quiero, acuérdese. Inco incorrect. Yes. Repeat it again, please. <laughs> okay. Sí, ya se me olvidó. <laughs> did she spend a lot of money or did she spend a lot of money? She spends a lot of money. All right. A ver. Dice que se la puse así como medio. No difícil, pero ¿es este o es este verbo? Revise ahí en el chat. El primero o el segundo es que es el incorrecto. Para la pregunta que le estoy haciendo, did she spend a lot of money or did she spend a lot of money? Excellent. Yes, Oscar. Very nice. Yay, Oscar. Very good. Okay, so we need to remember that. Obviamente, le estaba preguntando a Oscar del incorrecto, ¿verdad? No, va, no voy a creer que le estaba preguntando al correcto. It's the incorrect one. All right. So that's the way. A ver. Um, sé que Karen está indispuesta. Luis está manejando. Carlos, Abrego, Evelyn, Ivania, and Karen. No sé cómo están. Me avisan si pueden participar porque no quiero que se sientan que no los estoy incluyendo. Solo no sé si están por ahí. A ver, Gabriel, si yo le pregunto, did you finish the platform? 
And if it is affirmative sentence or affirmative answer, Gabriel, what is your answer? Did you finish the platform? No, teacher, no, no, no okay. understand. Okay, no. a ver, mi no, no se preocupe. Mi pregunta es, did you finish the platform? ¿Cuál es, ¿Cómo me respondería usted a esa pregunta si fuera en afirmativo? Que sí, ya terminó. Did you finish? En corto, Gabriel, ¿se acuerda que veíamos corto, negativo y afirmativo? Did you finish the platform? Y si me dice sí, ¿con qué empezamos? I I just I just to finish. Okay. All right. Es más fácil que eso, Gabriel. Solo me va a decir, mire, yes, I did. Nada más. Y okay. lo que me va diciendo sí. Sí terminé. All right. El yes I did no lo traducimos como sí lo hice, sino que nada más sí. ¿Verdad? Yes I did. En el caso que no, all right, ¿cómo dijéramos, Gabriel? No. No. ¿Qué sujeto vamos a usar, Gabriel? Did you finish the platform? Y se me dice, no. Um. Ok, no, I. Y así, Gabriel. No, no I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ah, ahí lo que me está diciendo es no, no terminé la, la plataforma o no fui o no compré o no llegué temprano o no desayuné, no estudié, cualquier cosa que yo le pregunte. Si usted me dice no, I didn't, me está diciendo que no a eso que yo le pregunté. All right. Si me dice que sí, eso, obviamente sí a eso que yo le pregunté. Tenemos que estar eh, pendientes del sujeto, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo did Carla... Come to class. Yes, she did. Oh, no, she didn't. Le digo, did they uh, understand the simple past? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Cambiamos nada más el sujeto en cuestión. El auxiliar permanece igual, ¿verdad? En did o didn't. ¿Sí me entiende, Gabriel? Yeah. All right, very good, excellent, very nice. Okay, ya veo a Carlita, ya, Wilfredo, hello, y también veo a Ivania, excellent. All right, so let's see here. Vamos a tomar la asistencia ahorita. Voy a enviarme, ¿verdad? Hay varios que no andan por acá. Mm -hmm. Today is July 1st. Um, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berríos. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Presente. Uh, Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Vania Yarrón Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia, aquí está. Present. Thank you. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. 
Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mayden Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Lizeth García Lemus. Present. Ah, Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. All right, very good. All right, very nice. So we're going to continue then here. All right, vamos a continuar con el manual. So we finished this yesterday, ¿verdad que si logramos chequear esto? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. All right, yeah, I remember. Okay, right now let's go to this, this um, page 31, exercise one and two. Vamos a ver la, um, the conversation. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. <laughs> he didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. All right, very nice. So Maylin, can you please be Luz? And Caro, can you please be Eva? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt, receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't <laughs> kind. My apologies for that and what about our product called you see use it use it use it yes i yes i could it wasn't so easy but i called another agent again he was so considerate his name was romeo and he explained everything to me claro claro me señora hola hello a ver, Caro, me va a dar algo, Caro. En la última parte, Eva. Yes. Dice, léame otra vez después de donde dice, donde dice, perdón, it wasn't so easy. Continúe otra vez. It wasn't so, so easy, but I call it another agent again. A ver, stop. ¿Cómo se dice ese verbo, Caro? Déjeme, me acuerdo del de, call, termina en do, call do. Ok, entonces pronúncelo en la oración. Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. Excelente. Eh, luego dice his name, continúe desde ahí. His name was Romeo. And he explained, explained sí, sí, así everything está. to me. Everything to me. En automático, cuando lo leyó la primera vez, me dijo, and he explained everything to me. All right. Lo dijo en automático. Hoy que lo piensa, entonces ya dice, ah, he explained everything to me. All right. Y entre más lo practiques, de aquí para allá no les voy a dar así como paz, ¿verdad? Yo los voy a seguir así, asustándolos a todos, no, asustándolos no, pero <laughs> so you guys like practice okay. right? very good, excellent, very nice okay, 
Um, a ver, Oscar, you. you are loose, thank you. And Rosalina, I mean Nina, <laughs> you are Eva. I lose. No. You are Eva. Oscar is loose. Okay. okay. Uh, can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I, I wrote. Uh, do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Uh, I apologize for that. I was about our product. Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Yeah, Nina, excellent. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Yeah, super yeah. nice. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> Very good. A ver, two more volunteers. Quien quiera hacer luz? Please say me. Who's luz right now? Necesito un luz o una luz? Nobody. Qué barbaridad. Fine, guys. Man, guys. Nice for us. Nice for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wilfredo. Yo veo que usted quiere hacer luz, Wilfredo. All right, very good. So, Wilfredo, you're going to be luz. And Ivania, I want you to be Eva. Can you tell me more about your experience? I want tonight because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I didn't. He didn't say his name. He wants kind. My apologies for that and what about our products called you use it? Yes, I could. It was so easy, but I called another agent again. He was a considerate. His name was Romeo and explained everything to me. Excellent, Ivania. Very good, Wilfredo. Very nice. Okay, very good. Y no importa si se queda así como que para asegurarse, ¿verdad? Lo importante es que lo vayamos haciendo mejor cada vez. Very good. Cold and explained. A ver, I'm going to read the, sent the whole conversation again. Hay un par de palabras que tenemos que revisar. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent, ahora right, la pronunciación es agent, the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even. Ni siquiera me mandó un recibo. Eso es lo que está diciendo. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't Kind, no es kind, es kind. My apologies, all right, mis disculpas. All right, mis disculpas por eso, verdad, por ese inconveniente. My apologies. And what about our product? Could you use it? Ojo, el could, igual que el would, no se pronuncia la L. All right, could. Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. All right. No sé si gusta que le repita alguna otra. 
o otra vez alguna que ya dije en, signific en significado o en uh, pronunciación. A ver. ¿No? ¿Todo bien? No problem. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Super. All right. What are we going to do here? It says read the conversation again and write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't. Lo que pasó y lo que no pasó. All right. In the conversation here. Ya les voy a explicar. Y luego vamos a hacer de una vez, vamos a aprovechar ejercicio 3 and ejercicio 4 y 5. Acá lo primero que vamos a hacer es past of be. Ese es el, pas el pasado en negativo que ya lo vimos. All right. I wasn't interested. You weren't cold. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Aquí estamos usando nada más el pasado del verbo be, was or were in negative. All right, and here, en el otro lado, tenemos simple past the action verbs. De cualquier otro action verb que no sea, obviamente, el verbo to be. I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. He didn't say his name. She didn't call again. We didn't buy a product. Okay, so this is the negative, past of be negative. Simple past action verbs negative. Que es lo que veíamos ayer. Aquí tenemos el didn't y su verbo regresa a su forma base. ¿Qué van a hacer? Write the sentences using negative and simple past. Todas están en afirmativo. Pásenlo a negativo. ¿Ok? Si aquí dijera, I am a teacher, usted va a poner, I wasn't a teacher. Están en presente. Póngalas, perdón, en pasado y en negativo pasado. Ok, yes, you understand. Entonces, nos vamos a ir. Exercise 3, page 31, and exercise 5, page 32. Avísenme cuando vayan terminando. Ya les habilité para que puedan compartir pantalla. Hi, Yvette, good evening. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you, Yvette. Very nice. Ok. okay. So, very nice. Let's go. Los que no pueden participar, igual se quedan por acá. Qué poquito sabemos ahora. Me aflige. Vamos a ver. Let's go. Los que no pueden participar se quedan por acá para yo poder mover a sus demás compañeros para que no trabajen solos.
Good morning, teacher. Hi, Win. How are you? Como tres me chumbean un pato. Un bicho que anda con él allá arriba me dijo. Y me dijo, chiché. Fine. Si gusta, Win, lo mando a un grupo. Oye, para que vean lo que están haciendo.
All right, guys, let's check this one here. We have did and didn't from exercise three. All right, so here we have read the conversation again and write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen. All right, so, a ver, um, I don't know here. ¿Qué me ayuda con las did? Yvette, ¿ha puesto algo acá en las did? En las did, fíjese que estábamos llenando ese con, con Wilfredo y le puse, ahorita le digo, teacher. Yes. Uh, ahorita le digo que íbamos a poner in did eh, call it another again. Eh, no, perdón, call it another eh, gen again. Y después íbamos a poner... Eh, he was so con, considerate, considerate. Okay, considerate. Mm -hmm. Considerate, ok. Y eh, después vamos a poner, eh, he explained, explained, <laughs> sorry, explained uh, everything to me. Yeah, okay, podemos poner the agent. The agent explained everything, okay. El nuevo agente, ¿verdad? Porque el primero no. Muy bien, Yvette, very nice. Yes. Yes. Okay, algo okay. más. Thank you, Yvette. Anybody else? Um, I don't know. Elibaldo, Maylin, Carlita. Anything on the did category? Yes, um, Caro. Uh, we put in the did, uh, he explained it, everything, and he called, called, called another agent. El, el primer verbo explain, Carolina, dígamelo otra vez. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> explained. Explained. Con D. Explained. Explained. <laughs> Very good, Carol. Very good. Yes, explained everything and called another agent. Muy bien. Repetir este módulo como tres veces. <laughs> bueno, all right, it's okay. All right, very nice. <laughs> no, Caro, ya va a ver que no. Solo que en el otro se acordará de mí, ya va a ver, yo sé. All right, let's see. Uh, what about Nina? Ajá, Nina. Uh, I think uh, give apologies. Apologies. Fíjese que lo vamos a, vamos a convertir el apologies, que es un sustantivo, es un nombre. Ajá. Entonces vamos a decir, ¿Sí? se disculpó. ¿Cómo dijéramos eso? Usando apology, pero póngalo como verbo. Y. Y. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Se lo puede o se lo, se lo escribo aquí, Nina? Please, it's better for me. Apology, yeah, apologize. Ajá. Yes, I got it. Uh -huh. Muy bien, él se disculpó, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. the first one. Yeah. Nice. Ok, ¿algo más de did? Niños, niñas, ya lo voy a volver a mover, permítame. Se lo quiero leer yo. Ok, very good. What about didn't? Oscar or... Maylin or Edwin, Elibaldo. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Uh, did not. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the agent did not give me a, a confirmation. Oh, did not. Agent. Uy. Agent didn't. Give um, a confirmation. We then another one didn't. He didn't know. Even send a receipt. Didn't send a receipt. Okay. Another one. He did not say his name. Excellent. He didn't. Say his name. Muy bien. Very nice. Another one. Uh, 
get the name of the agent? Yeah, he didn't. He need, oh, he doesn't know the name of the agent. Muy bien. Okay. Yes, very good. Another one. Alguien más con el didn't? No, teacher. We we answered the same. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Voy a borrar aquí porque si no se mueve todo. All right. Okay. So here we have this. A ver. Um, Carla. Number one, Carlita. I am satisfied. No, usted lea la mejor, Carla. Quiero ver cómo me va a pronunciar eso. <laughs> Yo lo iba a hacer por usted, pero no. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am satisfied. Con deter. Con, suena como d. I am satisfied with my I am satisfied with my love ah. laptop. Hoy cómo la puso ustedes uh, en su grupo, Carla? I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Muy bien. Ahora, ese satisfied igual no es en este caso no es verbo, es un adjetivo, pero la misma regla aplica en pronunciación satisfied no decimos satisfied all right so yeah very good thank you excellent i wasn't satisfied with my laptop very good edwin number two marta writes a letter to her boss okay hey, marta write a letter to the boss hey, you la escribí marta didn't write a letter to, to her boss Very good, excellent, Edwin. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. All right, Wilfredo. We are so happy with the food service. So we, uh, we didn't. Uh, we didn't so happy. Watch the food service. Seguro que es didn't, Wilfredo? Porque ahí está el R. ¿Cuál es el pasado de R, Wilfredo? Weren't. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. We weren't so happy with the food service. Very, uy. Service. No sé qué escribí yo aquí. Service. Very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. That's nice. Thank you. All right. Elivaldo, next one. Uh, Pedro and me drive to the company. Pedro and me weren't drive to the company. Weren't, puso. Weren't. Yes, weren't. ¿Y dónde está el presente del to be en esa oración? Ah, ok, sí, sería, they not. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Pedro and me. En mí, they not to the company. Drive to the company. Drive, muy bien, excellent. To the company, super bien, very nice. Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Very good. Um, Gabriel, number five, Gabriel. The principal sends many emails. Sorry, teacher, no la terminé de hacer esta. Me quedé sin wife. Ah, ok, mi, no se preocupe. Mi... Vamos a ver. Y ahorita estoy tratando de terminar eso. Me quedé hasta las cuatro también. Yo vaya, vaya, tranquilo. Ivania, ayúdeme con las cinco. Please. Um, the principal didn't send many emails. Very good. The principal didn't send any emails. Very good. And Nina. A ver, Nina. The last one. Program is too slow. Mm -hmm. Program didn't. Hmm. 
slow. Repítame otra vez, Nico. No, no. Program passen. Ah. Too slow. I got it. Fue mi slow. o y otra cosa yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I, I, I didn't finish. Yeah. Ah, okay. All the time. All right. And I make right, right now. Ah, okay. But <laughs> you made the No, that's okay, Nina. You made the correction. Perfect. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, así de tuvo que haber quedado. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. We weren't so happy with the food service. Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. The, uy, the principal. Nadie me dice que escribí esto mal. Bueno. Pero está mal escrito, pero se sabe que no es así. The principal didn't send many emails and the program wasn't too slow. Excellent, guys. Very good. Voy a borrar. Okay, let's continue then here. Vamos a seguir con esto acá. Y aquí nos vamos a dar gusto con varios EDs. Yo, yep, ya había algunos. Yep. Ok, pero antes de eso voy a dejar de compartir y tomo la segunda asistencia. Uh, we have here Carlos Eduardo Artiga de Ríos, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carol, um, yeah, Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Thank you. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Um, Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Vane Yamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Melin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales, Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes, Carlos Josué Chávez, Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present teacher. Uh, thank you. And Luis Antonio Abre Caravia. Very good. Present teacher. Present. Yes, yes, I know you're there. A ver, all right. So let's continue then here. We're going to continue with the exercise on the next page. Give me one second. Yep. All right, here we have this. All right, so we're working on page 33, exercise two. Read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experiences with two different companies. This is Mrs. Mendoza and this is Mr. Torres. All right. Le, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Quiero que lo lea ahí usted solito y solita. Les voy a dar tres, cinco, uh, cinco minutos para leer ambos, ambos eh, párrafos. All right. Y luego léalo con calma, solito, solita, y luego lo socializamos y lo leemos todos, ¿de acuerdo? Voy a dejar de compartir en lo que ustedes están en esto. Voy a Necesito un ejercicio para que practiquemos la lectura con los verbos regulares, ¿de acuerdo? All right.
All right, are we finished? Yes. Hello, yes, no, so so. <laughs> yes, teacher, so so. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, necesito cuatro volunteers. Okay, Caro, you're number one. Yes, Oscar, you're number two. Me, teacher. Yes, Maylin, you're number three. And the last one, uno más o una más? No, nadie. Okay, me, teacher, me, teacher. Thank you, Nina. <laughs> All right, that's the idea. Come on, guys, you need to practice here. Okay, so, um, Caro, yo ahorita preparo aquí. Caro, you are going to read... You're going to read all this, Caro. Hasta aquí. All right, Caro. And Oscar, usted con okay, donde se queda, Caro. O sea, de donde dice he, he gave hasta very late, okay? Okay. <coughs> okay, Oscar. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Caro. Okay, Mr. Mrs. Mendoza. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved the see, he solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece that he broke broke. Ah, el charge le salió divino. All right, el solved. Ya casi llegamos, all right, very nice, okay. <laughs> A ver, Oscar, continúe. Okay, teacher. He, uh, he got uh, me a copy of the report, but I didn't only study. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that the con very late. Excellent, Oscar, very good. Oscar, el pasado de give is gave. Oye, he gave me a copy. Okay, okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank, thank, thank you. Mailing, donde dice I, I, hasta donde dice to. Ahí, donde está, donde le subrayé. Y Nina termina. Pensé que hasta donde decía Kai, teacher. Oh, come on, okay. Mailing. <laughs> I have a problem with the car engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was good to fix my car problem too. Okay, Nina. Excellent. Very good, Mailing. He gave me details about the incident. He gave me a report of it. Then I start the in engine. And everything was perfect. Nina, regáleme ese verbo. Then I what? <laughs> then I start. Termina con oh. tenina. Es ed. Es start. Started. Start. It started. Then I started. More or less. Started the new engine. All right. I Entonces, started. El poema the... es ed. Okay. Okay. I started. Excellent. And everything was perfect. Very good. Okay. Igual, Nina, recuerda. I'm trying. That's okay. Recuérdese que el verbo irregular es gave. All right. He gave me gave. details. Very good. Okay. Nice, guys. Very good. Entonces dice, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. I had a problem with the car's engine. Engine is motor. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, very nice. Okay, so right now, guys, we're going to work on this 
Number three, read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with a partner. Van a trabajar en estas dos preguntas based on the reading. All right. Y luego acá tenemos yes, no questions with did and short answers. Que es lo que vimos ayer de structure. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay, ahora acá igual tenemos respuesta. Necesito pregunta. All right, basado en la respuesta que está aquí, ustedes van a hacer pregunta. All right, entonces trabajamos en grupo exercise three, one, two, and exercise five. De la 1 a la 5, ¿de acuerdo? Hago, abro grupos ahorita. Gabriel, ¿en qué grupo estaba, Gabriel? ¿Se recuerda, no? Con Nina, ¿no estaba con Nina? Nina, ajá, con Nina. Ahorita lo mando, pero ahorita. Vaya.
Carito, don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Teacher, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's Friday. Do you have to work tomorrow or not? Yeah. Yes, teacher. <laughs> but we have day. we we work on Saturday too. All day or just half a day? Uh, half a day. Well, at least. <laughs> yeah. <not> <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, guys. Everybody's coming back now. Let's check this exercise. Y de sorpresa, tengo una lectura solo lleno de verbos regulares. All right, en el simple past. No dice Nina porque dice que no, Nina. Eso es lo malo de tener la cámara encendida, Nina, porque le hacen así. Yo digo, ajá, Nina. <laughs> I'm kidding, Nina, no se preocupe. All right. Mm, esto es, ok. All right, here we have, uh, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? What is the answer? Anybody? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> yes, she did, I think. <laughs> yes, she did. Yeah, she had a, a problem with the method of payment. Por eso dice yeah. payroll, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que payroll es planilla. All right, so she had a problem with the method of payment. What about Mr. Torres? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Yes or no? Uh, no, I didn't. No, he didn't. Very good, Gabriel. No, he didn't. All right. Because he helped. I mean, he called the mechanic, not his best friend. Excellent. Okay. Vamos. Maylin. Question number one. The answer is yes, I did. I sent the email. Yo anoto lo que usted me dicte. Did you send the email? Yes, Caro. Caro, Caro me, me dijo algo, no sé. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. All right, very good. Okay, Caro, no sé si me va a decir algo. Pues iba a participar, pero oh, okay. escuché, escuché tarde. Ah, all right, okay, pero puede ser la número dos. No, they didn't, they didn't check the package. Did, uh, did they check the package? Solo por curiosidad, Caro. Regáleme la pronunciación de ese que acabo de escribir. Ah, das is the con el entonces sería el checked. Excellent, Caro. Very nice. Very well done. Ya ver. <laughs> You're all excited. <laughs> all <right. laughs> Very good. Event number three. Luego va Carlita con el cuatro and Edwin con el cinco. A mí me dijo la teacher. <laughs> Y ver la cuatro. Carlita va a ser la. Ay, no me acuerdo. No, me... no sé qué dije. Carla. Ah. A mí me dijo la cuatro. No, ah, pues sí. Y ver number three. Ajá. Ok. A ver si. Sí. sí, no la había hecho. Oh. Bueno, ahorita, ahorita. Sería. Did. Did the car turn it on again? Con ED o sin ED? Mm. Así? Sin ED, sin ED. Turn on again. Again. Did the car turn on again? Yes, it did. The, turn, the car turn on again. Very good. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. Excellent. Very good, Yvette. Nice. Well done. Uh, Thank you. In this case, no, no lleva it. Uh, did it. The car. Puede hacer dos opciones. Se la voy a escribir aquí. Tiene razón. Puede decir, did it turn on again? All right. Y sabemos que el it es el carro. O okay. reemplazar nombre con pronombre. No hay ningún problema. Perfecto. Very nice. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Carlita, I'm sorry. Number four. Okay. Did you never receive 
a copy of the recipe. You ever, se la voy a cambiar en lugar de never. Never es para respuesta ever. y ever es para pregunta. Okay. Ah, okay. Lo demás está bien. Did you ever receive, me dijo, ¿verdad? Receive. Did you ever receive a copy of the... Ay, it's Friday, ya no puedo escribir. Did you ever receive a copy of the receipt? Very good. And Edwin, the last one. Okay, uh, the number five, did he buy a new tie? Did he buy a new tire? Uh-huh. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Very good. Excellent, guys. Revisenlas. Eh, tendrían que quedarles acá este check. Yo solo lo puse por, por mala. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Teacher, I have a fourth. Yes. Is necessary you ever or the you? I have the same question. I have the same question. Okay. Fíjense que por la respuesta, como dice never, all right, entonces sí le puedo poner el ever ahí. Ahora, si usted quiere, no es que sea súper necesario ponerla. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Usted dice, no, I never did. Or did you ever? Puede ser con cualquiera de las dos. All right, ahora, digamos que es costumbre si en mi respuesta va never, en mi pregunta va ever, o viceversa. Si en mi pregunta va ever, su respuesta lleva never. Ok, ese es ese juego. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Excellent, very nice. Okay. Voy a borrar acá. All right. Eh, como aquí estamos en viernes, todavía nos falta lunes para dar cerrada la unidad. ¿Cuál unidad vamos? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. Yes. Sí, 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 uy, de repente me asusté. <risa> no, pero vamos bien. All right, igual, el lunes nos falta todavía esta página, esta otra. All right, y lo demás que ya es como repaso, pero igual, ahorita necesito que hagamos esto. Les voy a mandar. Ay, oh, no puede ser, tenemos un segundo. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry, I just lost it. It's here. Okay. Found it. Les voy a mandar ahorita acá, bueno, no, en el grupo de WhatsApp, una imagen de una lectura, a reading. All right. Ya, yeah, ya la recibieron. <laughs> Ok, ¿qué van a hacer con eso? Igual ahorita se las, se las comparto igual para que la vean. All right, entonces aquí hay muchos verbos de en pasado regulares, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces la idea se van a ir a los grupos y es con lo que vamos a cerrar el día de hoy. All right, Le, leanlo, pongan a especial cuidado en todos los verbos regulares que encuentren que hay varios. All right. Yes, entonces la idea es read it, all right? Pay attention to the regular verbs in simple past. Si en caso les alcanza el tiempo, hacen esto. Si no, con que lo lean, I'm more than happy, all right? Y les va a quedar ahí para que lo estudien el fin de semana y el lunes regresemos. Si usted me lo lea de maravilla, ese, ese, ese párrafo que está ahí, ok? Entonces, nos vamos a ir a los grupos. Ahí está ya en su WhatsApp. Ok, léanlo cuidadosamente, cuidado con los verbos con ED, pueden revisar su cuadro verde que ya lo imprimieron, todos dicen excelente. Ah no, Carlita me dijo que el fin de semana, pero los demás no sé. Quiero ver ese cuadro verde impreso. Teacher, yo soy eco friendly, entonces no, no puedo imprimirlo, no puedo gastar papel. <risa> ok, all right. 
Ay, carajo, ¿qué pasó, Caro? Ni, What ni. teacher? ¿Mm? What's happening? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué hice? ¿Qué no hizo? Ay, no, um, nadie, casi nadie ha logrado imprimir el cuadrito verde de los de la pronunciación de los ID. ¿Sabe qué, qué pasa? Que my printer is broke. So uh, I'm going to Fix it. do it on weekend. I promise. I have impressed and color other ah. other papers, but my printers okay. get broke. Okay, that's okay. All right, vámonos entonces. Con, trabajamos con esa lectura. Los voy a sacar y 55 más o menos, okay? ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo?
Maylene, did you finish? Uh, I think teacher, but, but the verse, I don't think, no, se how do you say, no, no los encontré. Oh, I, los verbos a donde? You didn't find them. In the paragraph, par, how do you say para? <laughs> paragraph? Para, what? <laughs> Can you repeat please? <laughs> yes, paragraph. 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 Paragraph, yes, lady. Yeah. Paragraph. No encontró okay. verbos. Only de lo que estaba in the list, only ah. two. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Pero la lectura <laughs> sí. That's okay. Pero la lectura sí la terminó. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. So, okay. very good. Thank you, Maylene. So, how was it? Carlita, ¿cómo estuvo la lectura? ¿Bien? So, so. so. So, so. Yes. All right, very good. For, hi, Luis. <laughs> hi, Luis. Eh, hola, teacher. Hola. Eh. A, a ver, logró leer con Caro, creo que estaba, ¿verdad? Sí, y yes, con teacher. Oscar. Oscar also, all right. ¿Lograron terminar sí. la lectura? Sí. Nos faltaron sí, los sí, dos últimos rengloncitos. Oh, cuando my nos sacó. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's almost time to go. All right, entonces, ¿les queda? No de tarea, pero si ustedes pueden, denle una leída en el fin de semana. All right, para cómo practicar los verbos, ¿verdad? Auxíliense del cuadrito verde. Fuera de broma, les puede ayudar mucho. All right. So, here, guys. I'm going to take the last attendance para que se puedan ir a descansar. Solo tengo mi micrófono. All right, thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so here we have Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrío. Carlos Elibaldo. Hello, teacher. Okay. <laughs> they are asking, what are you talking to? <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carlos Mauricio. Okay. Permítanme. All right, Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Yvette Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes, Carlos Josué Chávez, Carla Lizer García Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. All right. Very good. Present teacher. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining class this whole week. Yo sé que es cansado, pero aquí estamos every day tratando de aprender un poquito y seguir mejorando, que esa es la idea. Yes. All yes. right, very good. Avancen con su plataforma. Podrían, creo que ya terminar su unidad 3 igual. Igual teníamos este lunes para ponernos al día con todo. Y después del lunes nos queda una semana exacta. Es toda la otra semana completa y el lunes 11 y terminamos. All right, entonces eh, ya estamos de salida, ¿de acuerdo? Nos vemos el lunes. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Bye